Let's get the latest now from Al Jazeera's Sue Turton, who's in Benghazi, the rebel stronghold. Sue, the rebels facing some stiff resistance near Sirte. This was to be expected. It certainly was. We expected the stiff resistance to happen when the front line of the anti-government forces reached CERT going in through the eastern gate overnight. They were reporting that they uh, would come across an unarmed city, if you like, but it seems that the Gaddafi forces have been making a sort of tactical decision to hold up outside of the main areas, the main routes, pulling back off the roads. Uh, we've been told by the National Council that their concern at the moment is 30 kilometres east of CERT where they understand there are a number of Gaddafi forces who are shelling further down the line of the anti-government forces. So here's the resistance we were expecting. It just has come a day later than, than that expectation. Mm. Now, on the political front, we just heard uh, in the last hour that Qatar has now also recognized the opposition National Council, which is based in Benghazi, where you are. Does this now mean that they're also winning the political and diplomatic battle as well? Well, it's interesting that Qatar has said that. Uh, we understand they've also responded to the fuel shortages that uh, the National Council said today were threatening to uh, hamper the, the, the push towards the West. There is a, a lack of fuel, the, the huge queues outside the petrol stations here, which is a, a huge concern, but we understand that the Qatari government have now pledged to send gas. A gas ship will be sent here to at least, at least help in some of those fuel shortages. Of course, Qatar was one of only two Arab nations that actually joined in the initial uh, NATO um, sponsored push to put in a, a no-fly zone here. They send fighter jets, we understand. So they've very much become a part uh, of this whole coalition force, one of only two Arab nations to do that. As far as the wider political situation here, we, we've, we've been told that Turkey have offered to act as a, a negotiator to try and broker some sort of ceasefire. The National Council's reaction to that today has been they're not too trusting of Turkey. They didn't join in whole heartedly with the no-fly zone when it was first muted and they're not quite sure that they're the right country to act as mediator. All right, thank you very much, Suter, and reporting there live from Benghazi.